Team coverage continues now with CBS 4's Hank Tester. He's live with the new audio recordings just into the newsroom. Hank. Well, the PBA is representing the officer, and they provided a new perspective and asking questions about what went down. But first, let's stop, let's start, that is, with the audio from the dispatcher as the cops are rolling up on the scene. Let's take a listen. Then this from the police radio. Looks like he's pulling up his gun. The PBA representing the officer involved maintains the video does not tell the whole story of the North Miami police shooting. That's the message from John Rivera from the PBA. This is not a case of a rogue cop. This is not a case of police abuse. This is a case where a police officer was trying to save Mr. Kinsley's life and unfortunately um, his shot went astray. The PBA president said the officer involved and the officers who did the shooting could not hear Charles Kinsey explaining that he was a caregiver, but the camera picked up Kinsey's voice. Whomever filmed the incident filmed it from a different vantage point and much closer than the officer was. It appeared to the officers that the white male was trying to do harm to Mr. Kinsley. The officer that shot Charles Kinsey, the PBA says, by mistake, is a decorated SWAT team member, and he released this statement through the PBA. I took this job to save lives and help people. I did what I had to do in a split second to accomplish that, and I hate to hear others paint me as something I am not. Well, back live, we can tell you that the message from the PBA is that this officer shot the victim by mistake. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News, back to you. All right, Hank, thanks a lot. Now, the North Miami Police Department has opened a hotline to address community concerns after the shooting. The number is 305-547-8644. CBS 4 News will bring you all new developments in the investigation. We've also posted the entire North Miami Police News Conference on our website, cbsmiami.com.